So I've bought a dozen of the newest USB-C cables. I've cumulatively bent them over a million times. And honestly, picking the top three wasn't that hard because lots of them failed miserably. Number three goes to this guy, the Anchor Prime. Anchor makes a crazy claim with this product. Actually two. The first is that you can bend it 300,000 times. And the second is that they say this cable can last 100 years because USB-C is totally going to be around in 2025, right Monty? Now, because I'm a reviewer, not an influencer, I actually bent this cable 300,000 times. It was actually 300,000 plus 10% because I'm generous like that. After all that tugging, the head is definitely looser than the uh, head that's not bent. And it's a little limper, we'll say. But in my before and after charge speed test, they were exactly Exactly the same. There was no real voltage drop and cable resistance stayed about the same. So at the end of the day, this thing survived, which is something I can't say for other Anchor products that I've tested. This Anchor Nano did not survive. Now, when it comes to iPhone and iPad specific charging speeds, this cable was the fastest. It'll give your iPhone 50% in under 27 minutes. So if you need a solid, durable charging cable, this Anchor Prime is going to be your go-to. At $30 per meter, this product is way above the average uh, $20.5, but you get what you pay for. Now, when it comes to testing cables, I buy every single cable myself, and each one goes through a charging test with different PD protocols. It goes through a data test with all types of files and folders, and then I get to bend it using my custom-built Master Bender 9000. And after all that, I retest everything again, because that's how I have to do it as a reviewer. This is number two, is the Mophie Charge Stream USB 4 cable. Now, I'm not a big fan of Mophie products. Their battery bank stuff is just really meh, but their cables are so surprisingly good. Now I do have to poke fun at them because this cable is rated to 3,000 bends, a far cry from the 300,000 of the Anchor Prime, but at least they put a value to it because a lot of the other cables don't. Now this cable has a very nice braided finish to it. The size of the connector is actually quite small for a USB 4 cable. The entire connector is capped off with a bit of metal. And this cable handles well, it's not very stiff. Now I bent it to 3,000 and data and charge speeds were exactly the same as before, but then I thought to myself, it would only be fair if I push this cable to the same level as all the other cables, right? So I bent it an extra 8,000 times. Charge speeds did drop slightly. I measured a voltage drop of 0.12, which isn't much, but again, it's noticeable. I'll maybe add 30 seconds to a full iPhone charge. Not a big deal. Now, with that being said, in terms of charging your iPhone and iPad, this one was actually the slowest in my top three. It's a minute and a half slower than the Anchor Prime cable. Is that gonna be a deal breaker for you guys? I, I don't think it is. This cable is priced above average, saying around $34 per meter, which is again, way above the 20 and a half dollar average. So if you need fast data speeds, as well as decent charging speeds, uh, get this cable. Cable. For me, because it's easier to coil, this thing is going into my uh, daily pack. Now, if you're planning on getting a cable, use my links. No Saint Influencer is going to do all this testing, but that's just not me. I spend way too much time figuring stuff out. And with USB-C, it's a literal dumpster fire. Because with all these USB-C cables, you've got USB 2, 3, and 4. USB 2 is really old, based on the 2000s. USB 3 is a protocol that barely gets used. And USB 4 has versions 1 and 2. As a side note, every version 2 USB 4 cable I tested failed horrendously. But all these USB 2 to four cables, that's only for data. You gotta pay attention to the power side. You got cables that are PD, PD 3.0, PD 3.1. 3.1 allows up to 240 watt charging, which sounds awesome, but it's not very common. There aren't very many devices that charge at 240. But hey, it's on every single cable nowadays. Bigger numbers sell, right? Like I just, marketing fluff is so terrible and my number one pick has just a buttload of marketing fluff that just, this is Spigen ArcWire USB 4 cable. The fluff on this product, USB 4 Gen 3. I interpreted that as version 3, but as of right now, there isn't a USB version 3. So this Gen 3 bull crap, which I think is Spigen's own revision, but again, dumpster fire. Now this cable is rated to 10K bends. Again, I did 10% extra. And after all that, there was a little bump beneath the connector. A little bump under the head didn't hurt anybody, right? When it came to before and after data speeds, they were the same, as were the charge speeds. Now in terms of charging your iPhone, it's gonna give you 50% in just over 27 minutes. It's technically a 0.2 difference between the Anchor Prime cable and the Spigen ArcWire. I think in real life, they're gonna be exactly the same. Now price-wise, you're paying a little bit more for this product. It's about $28 per meter. So it's the cheapest one in this video, but way above the 20 and a half dollar average. But again, you get what you're paid for, right Monty? You are so done with this video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get out of here. Personally, this is going to be a stay at home cable for me. Basically just gonna leave it on my desk and just use it when I need to. It's just a little too stiff for me. That's why I say that. The nice braided finish of this uh, Mophie products. This is just more user friendly, we'll say. Question, comments, leave them down there. Again, if you're planning on getting uh, your stuff, use my links. I'm a reviewer, not an influencer, spent a lot of time bending cables. Thanks for watching.